This is the organic description and visual representation of our current team of teams. These folks are working collaboratively. They're learning within the teams and they're sharing between the teams what they have learned, what they've come to understand, what they feel are necessary uh, solutions or approaches or ways to shift and change the world. And, and their efforts are bearing good fruit and are the reason we're having this conversation today. We hope that this network of participants will continue to grow as rapidly as possible. We feel that egoless, co-creative, collective action is the solution that is informed by deep technical understandings of all the issues of climate change, as well as deep social understandings and even spiritual understandings of all of the dynamics and dimensions of climate change. We would suggest that climate change is only a symptom of the human process, not yet being as evolved or as healed or as conscious or as collaborative or as loving as we need to be to operate in harmony with our natural planetary environment and ecosystems. So our next intention is to develop a series of workshops that involve documentary makers, social media issue experts, climate change experts and scientists, and, and very well, highly placed CEOs, wealthy, powerful people, visionaries, in an immersive, facilitated, transdisciplinary workshop process, and to utilize their understandings to guide the development and evolution of the social movement engine and to guide the, implement, the creation and implementation of solutions to climate change in the world. That necessarily will involve heart, emotions, mind, and soul. And will also require us to operate beyond conventional learning modalities. And in so doing, we must transcend current polarizing social media dynamics and associated tribal tendencies because division and fear-mongering or disinformation or drama or distraction or judgmentalness cannot get us to a solution, not a collective solution. And a collective solution is what is required if we're going to solve climate change. So folks would say, how are we going to do that? How are we going to get there? Our current uh, strategy in greater detail is listed here. We're, as we said, we're developing workshops. We've got, we're developing, uh, we want to develop now and in the near term, what might be termed an internal workshop support team. That is a new team that we would invite anybody who would be interested in participating to sign up for, so to speak. We have been recording workshops and uh, we have put that information on YouTube and uh, meaning our internal team processes, our educational processes. We're going to be recording workshops in future and learning from them. We're also, we also have an editing team that is editing the recordings in order to ensure that they're focused, clear, crisp, easily digestible, and uh, that people can, so people can learn from them very effectively and efficiently. We're working on branding and campaign building to acquire workshop participants. We are evolving our engagement model and we have an engagement model. Uh, we want to develop an engagement model development team. We are contemplating bringing in interns to do video editing and other kinds of work. We're seeking funding. We are looking for people to test the Chloe system as we add new softwares to it, new capacities to it, prior to rolling it out to the public. We are uh, working on building a public relations team uh, and also internal legal support. As, and uh, we also want to add as many members of all communities around the world that we can that, that represent the youth of our world. They have energy, they have intention, they have understandings that, that people in older generations may not have. They have 
in a way, the right to be absolutely participative in this process because they will inherit this world from us. And it's incumbent upon us to, to transform it for them, for their well-being. Simultaneously, it's incumbent upon us to open the door every day in, the, in every way possible to bring in all of the youth of the world and to ensure that we have complete equality in that process and that that, that youth is representative of the vast diversity of our world so that we can get what might be termed the best answers, the highest quality results and the greatest inclusion of their energies and insights and capacities. It's incumbent upon them if they want to inherit a world that functions, if they choose to participate in this process. We can all rebuild our world together.